Hello everyone and welcome to today's episode of Beyond the Mask. Today we're going to be taking a look at some of the deleted scenes from Scream 6. As most of you are probably aware by now, the home media releases for Scream 6 are due to be released in July this year and all of the features have been revealed regarding what exactly is going to be included once the Blu-ray slash DVDs hit the shelves. One of the more disappointing aspects was the lack of deleted scenes, as I'm someone who does actually enjoy scenes that were removed from movies, and judging by the comments last time I brought this up, you guys are all the same as well. Well, what I decided to do was I went back and watched as many trailers for the movie as I could. I read through countless interviews with cast and crew, took a read through some of the confirmed, removed and alternate scenes and I have made an extensive list of everything that was cut from Scream 6. I'm hoping we at least get to see these in some way as the fact that most of these are included in the trailer shows that they have been filmed. So let me go through these with you guys. One that I have discussed numerous times on this channel, there is an alleged scene involving Detective Bailey checking out the lifeless, and I say lifeless, body of Quinn, in which we also see him break down at the sight of her. He also pushes into the crime scene and takes over before anyone else can, and then there's a shot of a body bag being zipped up. There's another scene between Kirby and Bailey at the police station. I'm not sure where it fits into the movie, but there was additional shots in the trailer of these two talking. I'm presuming this is where we get the this isn't like any other ghost face line spoken by Kirby that was featured quite prominently in the trailer but wasn't actually in the movie. There is also a deleted scene of Ethan and Mindy in the hospital following her attack on the subway train. I believe this is just to confirm her fate before the climax of the movie. Right, the next one I want to talk about is Gail's chase scene. This was apparently much longer, but it's more the phone call she has with Ghostface. Now, from the trailers, TV spots and such, there's so much cut dialogue here that was used for this scene. Things like, I'm something different, the legacy is still alive. These were two lines that were cut from an extended amount of dialogue between Gail and Ghostface. Radio Silence have stated that in the original version of the opening for Scream 6, Laura spoke to Ghostface as opposed to Jason himself on the phone, which would have been interesting. There's a darkness inside of me and it followed me here is a line spoken by Sam Carpenter that was cut from the actual movie. This occurred during her initial therapy session with Dr. Stone, indicating there may be an extended version of this scene. There's a shot of Quinn getting up from her bed in panic after possibly hearing the death of her lover in the bathroom. There are also a couple of extra shots of Sam and Tara in the bodega store. Both of them are seen crawling through different aisles at different times, but we only ever see them down one specific aisle in the finished movie. There's a moment in the final act in which Ethan and Bailey confess to the murder of Mrs. Bailey. She protested their plans to exact revenge on Sam Carpenter, and so she was murdered. You want me, so let's finish this is also a removal line of dialogue from the movie when Sam and Bailey are head to head in the final act. And also there is one shot of Ghostface overlooking New York City that was cut from the movie but was featured heavily in numerous trailers. So that's basically all we know so far. Everything that was removed, edited and deleted from Scream 6. Most of these I'm fine with, I get why it was cut, but some of them would be super interesting to see on screen. You know, things like Ethan and Bailey discussing the death of Mrs. Bailey is a huge one. And I feel like that could have added so much to the movie and to the characters. Most of the other stuff is fine, but I still want to see the entire scenes filmed here. I'm absolutely baffled as to why they're not giving us any deleted scenes. But which deleted scenes would you like to see? Share your thoughts below. Thanks so much for watching guys. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and look out for more great Scream content on the way.